and blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and in the dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Whose head lay in the the saints? And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth on the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast. Forty-four thousand Jewish evangelists going all over the world. Another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. It's only one gospel, everlasting. It is named a lot of gospels. One gospel. Sing with a loud voice. Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, <laughs> Babylon is fallen, Babylon. is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, 
if any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be told to the fire of the beast in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. Hellfire. <laughs> Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God in the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me. Right, right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, ye, ye saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat, like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in my sickle, and we reap, for the time has come for thee to we reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress... People going to hell! And blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. Wrath of God. He gets mad. I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just as in true all enemies, thou art in your saints, who shall not fear thee, O oh Lord, and glorify thy name. And after that, I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen and having their breasts skirted with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of God, who liveth forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple to the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vinous of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the 
first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noise and an grievous sin upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea. And it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters. And they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art, and was, and shall be, because thou hast judged us, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire, and men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which has power over these... How terrible, how terrible! Wrath of God! Fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores. Curse God instead of repent. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river, Euphrates. And the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits. There he is. There he goes. And out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth, and keepeth his garments. Lest he walk naked, and they see she. Well, glory! called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Armageddon and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying it is and there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake, and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. That's the Catholic Church. Come hither. Have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. 
And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, <laughs> the mother of harlots and abominations of Catholic the Catholic Church. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman, and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was, and is not. There you go. And shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. <laughs> and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation. Not written in the book of life. Behold, the beast that was and is not, and yet is. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains, on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen, and one is. And the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast there was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no <laughs> kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. And the seven that sit around the round table. And shall give their power and strength unto the beast. There's a dragon. These shall the end is coming. The end is coming. He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Lord. And they that are there we are. And chosen and faithful. We don't have to fight. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the horn and shall make her desolate and naked and shall be her flesh and fill her with fire for God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled <laughs> and the woman which thou sawest is the great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of the <coughs> and the home of every foul sinner, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed lips through the abundance of the delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And her sins have reached unto him, yeah. and God hath remembered her iniquities. She rewarded him unto the devil according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to the devil. 
how much she hath glorified herself, and lives deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I see... I like these little pictures they got on here. I shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine. Woman. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. And the kings of the earth, who had committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, they had a great city that long. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold, and silver, and precious stones, and of pearls, and fine linen, and purple, and silk, and scarlet, and all fee and wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, <coughs> and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, <coughs> and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men, and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, thou great city, thou was full and every ship master, and all the company and ships, and sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city, where were we rich, all that had ships in the sea, by the hands of the cross for the one hour she made days of it. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and behold the apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers, and musicians, and the pipers, and trumpeters, shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of the angel shall be found no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For thy mighty sorceries were all nations to see you. In the earth was found the blood of the prophets, in the saints, in the all that were slain upon the earth. And after these things I heard a great <laughs> voice of much people in heaven, saying, Alleluia! Salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For to the righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great horror, which they have on the earth with their fornication, and hath abandoned the blood of his servants at our hand. And again they said, 
And the four and twenty elders, and the four beasts, fell down and worshipped God, that sat on the throne, saying, Amen. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye the servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God I am his Bless ye the land of Jesus, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the land is come, and his honor and gave so away. And he saith unto me, Right. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw him behold, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Ha. His eyes were as a flame of fire, ha. and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And his name is called the Word of God. And Word of God. Clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. That's us back there. Fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth Look at that sword. sword that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, sir. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast, and the kings of the earth, and their armies, gathered together, to make war against him that sat on the horse, <laughs> and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. <laughs> and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth. And all the fowls were filled with their flesh. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, <laughs> which is the devil, and Satan, and bound That's him the end. a thousand yeah. years, and cast him cast. into the bottomless pit, bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, ah, look at the key. that he should <laughs> deceive the nations no more, till a thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And I it's after millenniums. Yeah. And they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, 
and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. That's the millennium. The rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Millennium. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to the seven nations which are in the four quarters and of the earth, Gog and Magog, Big battle to come. gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. And fire came huh. down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. And the devil had deceived and was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Tormented, ever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Glory. Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. They're making it right now. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. New Jerusalem and coming down. People, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Yeah. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Why, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto you that is the first of the fountain of the water of life and freedom. Yes. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers. There they go, in the hell. Hope it ain't you. All liars shall have their tongue in the way which is. All liars, you ever told a lie? And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, 
come hither, I will show <laughs> thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from glory. God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. <laughs> and the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, yeah. and the length is as Big Q. as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof. That's heaven. Ten hundred and forty. Coming down here. Cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper. And the city was pure gold. Pure gold. Like unto pure Whoop. glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second, sapphire, the third, a chalcedony, the fourth, an emerald, the fifth, sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, a topaz, the tenth, a chrysoprasus, the eleventh, a jacinth. I already know what them are. <laughs> them colors. <laughs> <laughs> and the twelve gates were twelve you had to go pearls. All that. <laughs> Every several gate was of one pearl. And the big old the pearls was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein. No, for the Lord God ain't no temple. No temple. And the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, and neither of the moon to shine in it for the glory of god did light in it jesus is the light they light all the time and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it glory the kings of the earth to bring their glory and honor into it and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by never day, closed for there shall be no night there no night they shall bring the glory no more night no dying. No dying. No, no sin. Glory. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Mm. And he shewed me a pure river of water of life. Glory. as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare to a tree of life, of fruits, and healed her fruit every healing of the nation, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse. Glory! But the God and the Lamb shall be made, and the servants shall serve him. Servant, servant, serve them. And his name shall be in their foreheads, in 
there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light. And they shall reign. God giveth forever. light. Well, well glory. To me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which shewed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou, or do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thine brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yeah. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Yeah. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Amen. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Holy people, amen. Here he comes. His work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Oh, glory! Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loves Burning in hell forever. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bride and the morning son. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. Yes. Come. And let him that is here and say, Come. Yes, come. Come, yes. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Freely, freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written. Yeah. And if any man shall take away from the word. Don't you dare change that Bible. Don't you dare! And out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book, he which testified of these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Come quickly! Glory! Even so, come Lord Jesus. Yes! Come Lord Jesus! Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Yeah, well, that was glory to right. God. Yes, sir. Psalm 116. Now let me just tell you this. Let me get this. Let me tell you this. I can't preach like that. I, I was going to quit that thing and get up there and preach. Why well, I want to get up and make a fool out of myself <laughs> when I got John preaching. It's all right. I'm coming over here. Get this chair. You can wake up, Gary. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Glory Ain't God good? I love the Lord. My old hillbilly preacher friend, Jesse Goldman, he used to say, I'm happier than a June bug on a jelly bean. I don't even know what that means. Did you ever hear old Hillbilly say that? I would have heard that phrase, but I ain't never seen a June bug. I ain't never seen it. Yeah, right. I'm happy as a June bug on a jelly bean. Well, no June bugs might like jelly beans, huh? I don't know. 
That's old hillbilly stuff. I'm going to sit down here. Well, I'll tell you what. By me showing you the last part of that book of Revelation is better preaching than I could do or anybody ever that's a human being on the face of this earth. It's the pure word of God. You better get to love it. Get rid of them phony Bibles. Get you the Bible, English language, King James Bible, forever settled in heaven. I sent out a text on it yesterday, maybe this morning, I don't know. Yeah. I ain't no crazy preacher. I got the truth. The truth has set you free. Wouldn't that end good in the 22nd chapter? Well, glory. Any of you saved here? Any of you been saved yet? Isn't that good? Why don't you serve them more? Why don't you love them more? Why don't you forget all this stupidity? We're going to be in heaven forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Time no more. And those in hell, burning, weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. Forever and ever. You that ain't saved in this church today, you better get saved. And you out there and you too, you know if you're saved or not. Maybe you stepped over the line. Maybe in this church that's sitting in here or out there. You blasphemed the blessed Holy Ghost and you can't be saved. You had your chance and you stepped over the line. If you still know right now, right this minute, that you're lost, you could then you could be saved. I want to get saved today. Isn't God good? Amen. Glory to God. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Sing it. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me. Thy great salvation, so rich and free. Come on, church. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so rich and free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, my dear Lord Jesus. Trust him today. Only trust him. Only trust him, only trust him now. He will save you. He will save you. He will save you now. Glory, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.